Yeah, Davo here. Vlog number 23. Question is, will I actually complete this one and post it? <laughs> a little bit different today. We're going to do a little bit of a bitch session. Um, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. I love YouTube. It is. It gives you almost all the promise that the internet does. It's a vast wealth of information and entertainment. Um, I watch a lot of videos on how to that expand my abilities and give me ideas that maybe I wouldn't have came up on my own or shortcuts to get to where I want to be. I really enjoy that and I, I applaud anybody that does that and I hope that I'm achieving the same thing on my other channel that I'm involved with. Uh, the Axiom and Skin Kitchen channel where we talk about piercing and tattoos. That's the whole point of it is education. However, there are things that tend to be trends that are driving me nuts and are getting me to the point where I will stop watching or I will even them give them a thumbs down if I see it. And here's the top five reasons why I will stop watching a YouTube video. Number one, anybody making coffee for any reason other than to show me a better way to make coffee. I don't get it. I don't care. I don't want to watch slow-mo, that really artistic backlighting, all the buka, all the beauty of it, and they're spinning around, and it's so fascinating, and then the water's got all this beautiful steam. I don't care. Don't care. Unless it's got something to add to the story, it's pointless. I don't get it. It, it, it wastes my time. And I, I'm old. I have precious little time left, and I'm not going to watch you make coffee anymore don't care. Second one, anyone that's skateboarding anywhere that is not doing something that takes a great deal of skill and ability or might cause bodily harm. I don't get it. Why is it? I, I, and I've watched, there's a number of them that I've watched where it's like, okay, so he's talking about this camera or he's talking about home brewing or he's talking about something that interests me. And then he talks about it for, she talks about it for a little bit, and then they get on their bike or skateboard and ride it for five minutes to another place where they stop and start talking about it again. And then ride it to another place and they start talking about it again. So it takes a four minute video and turns it into a 20 minute video for no apparent reason other than to get higher averages on your uh, on your viewership? What's the point? Don't get it, don't understand it. So don't do that anymore, please don't do that. It'd be like me getting in my car, driving to you know a random location. Yeah, it's me at the, the Burger King. I'm gonna sit down in the booth and talk to you about five minutes about body piercing. Okay, now let's get back in the car and I can shoot some bunch of footage of me driving the car and then I'll stop and I'll, I'll continue with that conversation about body piercing. It's a waste of your time. You wanna know the information. You wanna get to the point. Which brings me to the next one, montages in general. I think most people don't understand what a montage is and they hide it behind what they call B-roll. Oh, it's B-roll. B-roll is really great. B-roll this and B-roll. And the reality is, is you're making a montage. A point of a montage is this. It's a short version of a long story. If it has absolutely nothing to do with the subject matter, it is completely pointless. For example, if you're going on a trip, instead of painstakingly making us sit there and watch every moment it takes you to get from point A to point B. You can condense that into a montage that's about 30 seconds long and we get to see the high points of it. We get to see the uncomfortable seat on the airplane. We get to see that skyline for five seconds. We get to see the beauty of whatever place you're at. Anything beyond that is a waste of time. It isn't adding anything to the video and it isn't adding anything to the story or the subject that we have been triggered and have the desire to see. You're just teasing us. You're just making us watch a bunch of fluff for no apparent reason. If you want to make an art film on scenery, have do that. Do that. No one's stopping you. Go out and shoot 20, a 20-minute 20 montage of all the beauty that's around you. Somebody's going to watch it. I won't, probably, but somebody will. Don't stick it in the middle of stuff that I'm interested in and make me watch it. I know this is partly because of the popularity of two particular YouTubers that are very artistic and very, very good at what they do, 
But the difference is, is that I see montages that have absolutely nothing to do with the subject matter and does not move the story along. It's just random. Ah, hey, he's talking about uh, how to dig a fence pole. A fence hole. How to put up a fence. Um, now there's a montage of a cat drinking milk. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Now he's got a picture of his shelf and that. Yeah. Don't care. Don't care. Get away from it. I'm giving you a thumbs down and I'm moving on. So you're not going to get the view anyway. Long intros that have nothing to do with whatever the hell the video is about. There's one particular person that I will not name that is notorious for this. I don't want to sit there. I understand there's a difference between a personal daily vlog and a vlog that's interesting to me. Um... Personal vlog, you talk about things like, well, I got up this morning. It's 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 more of like a diary. Um, diary vlogs have their place, but you shouldn't go, okay, I'm going to go to this very exciting place that you're going to be interested in. But first, let's talk about how I made coffee, eggs, sandwiches, and you can watch me do that, and then I'll walk my dog for 25 minutes, then play with the cat. Then I'll talk about the stuff that I bought online last night, and how I did on the game, and then 35 minutes more um, of random walking around, shaky footage, um, and then uh, then I'll finally get to the place, and I'll spend about two minutes there. It's annoying. Don't do it. Please don't do it anymore. If you want to do a personal vlog that covers your daily life and everything that goes on in it, do a personal vlog. Do that. Don't sucker me in with something exciting so that I'll watch your boring life because I don't care and I'm not interested. Last one, product reviews. That have nothing to do with the product. Um, don't go into the features. Don't cover it exclusively. Tend to talk about stuff. It, there, you, there's usually kind of two types, and they're both at the extremes. There's the unboxing. Yes, they have a use um, to unbox something. It gives you an idea of what's in the box so that you know what you're going to, you know, any additional accessories you might need for that electronic device or what have you. It lets you know what's there. If you're buying a shelving unit, it's nice to know that there's the tools there to make it. And you're not going to have to pull out the, the toolbox or have other things handy to get it, get it together. Um, if it's a camera, it's nice to know that they included this battery or that battery or something that's useful. Same thing with a phone. It's nice to know whether or not they have a charging block or not a charging block, or headphones, or not headphones. So there's where unboxing works. But it's really annoying when that's the whole video. They just open it up, and then, yep, there it is. I'm going to turn it on, and thank you for watching. Subscribe. Why aren't you talking about the product itself? Why aren't you telling me what the features are, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what the problem is? Now, on the other extreme is the 4Pro reviews. We've all seen them. It's it's tons of inside baseball, and it is a bunch of terms that only a small percentage of whoever's going to use that product actually cares about or knows about. I, I see this a lot with camera reviews, where they'll go through the whole review and not talk about the autofocus of the camera, what lenses are really available for it, um, how the microphone works, uh, whether or not it works well. Some of them don't even talk about video. They, they'll sit there and they'll focus for... 10 minutes on manual focus and how many f-stops it has and all that fun stuff and not really talk about things that i will actually and a majority of people will use and it's kind of that whole thing if you're there are pros is really just about one percent to two percent of the people that are going to be looking at a camera review for example the 98 to 99 of us we're going to play with this thing in autofocus. We're going to buy maybe two lenses, tops. That's what we need to know about, whether or not it's economic, whether or not it's usable. We are going to know, we need to know whether or not, you know, this mic's going to work with it or not this mic or how well this works or how well that works. Practical knowledge that we can use. Um, it amazes me how many camera reviews will actually not include anything about video when... They're on a video channel. <laughs> They're on YouTube. A lot of the, the people that watch YouTube are those that produce content for YouTube. 
So there it is. And a lot of it comes down to why taking the long way around the barn. We've all had that friend or family member that will come up to you and say, oh, I got to tell you something. And then they will describe everything around it before zeroing in on the actual subject matter. And nothing is more frustrating than that. And you need to stop it. I'm done with you. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you think I missed something or you agree with me and you'd like to discuss it further or maybe you have some suggestions, I'm happy to talk things through. Leave a comment. Be happy to answer whatever comments are on there. If you like this, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this, subscribe. Also, if you're interested in body piercing and tattooing, I suggest you yeah, go ahead and subscribe to our other channel, uh, the Axiom and Skin Kitchen channel. I do post a great deal more content over there. This I'm trying to vamp up again and get myself motivated with. Um, but other until then, have a good day. Take care of your, uh, take care of each other, and remember, we're all counting on you. You hear me? We're counting on you. Make the world better.